All right. There is a video here. Um, what is high functioning autism's six things you should know? Um, there's a lot of comments on here. Some of them. All right, here's one. <clears throat> High functioning means you are not underdeveloped in intellect. You do have learning have a learning disability in social and emotional states. You can still be unable to take care of yourself and be high functioning. It means your IQ tends to make up for the underdeveloped areas. Please stop trying to justify people with as who are not doing well as just lazy or unwilling. We are trying to do everything we can to survive and not be a burden. I think that sums up everything that I've been trying to explain for three years now. Here's another one. A lot of symptoms of social anxiety and autism overlap. It's really confusing yet interesting. My fiance was somewhat recently diagnosed with mild autism, which he was only diagnosed with anxiety disorders his, his whole life until he had to switch to a new psych doc. It makes you wonder how many people are walking with an anxiety, di anxiety diagnosis when it's actually autism. Mm -hmm. In the past, they may have been labeled as nerdy or a geek lol yeah in the past like last week that's a good point too here's one I'm 55 years old and I still have difficulty with small talk so do I it's a waste of time most autistic people they they are structured they have an intent and a purpose and you guys are time wasters you waste time. You waste our time wanting to small talk. If I have an issue and I need your help, I need you to not be talking. It's not that you can't speak at all. It's that if you're going to help me with something, if let's say what I'm working on, right? Let's say I'm working on something that's scientific. Not that I would. <clears throat> Let, let's pick a science I know nothing about. It's nuclear science. I know very little about it, but I need to understand it better. Now, am I going to go to a janitor for this, or am I going to go to somebody who knows something about nuclear sciences? If I've got someone who's interested in nuclear sciences, and they un understand what it is that I'm talking about, they can comprehend what it is that I'm talking about, then it's not just small talk. It's an actual conversation. It's not just there to fill time. Whereas if I talk, start trying to talk to the janitor about it, you know, he might talk to me about his kids or the toilet cleaners or, you know, how's the weather today? Dude, I, 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 can, I can see the weather. I can look outside, no biggie. I, I don't know what that has to do with anything. Oh, so you see it's raining outside. Yes, I do see that it's raining. It doesn't make any sense to me why you would say that, why you would state the obvious. But then I've learned that uh, most autistic people have common sense. It's the people without who lack it. We're trying to tell you that there's a major issue and you're not listening to the issue because you think we're retarded. Or when we have an issue and we need you to listen and you say that you will, and then you want to make it small talk. Like, all right, I, I, I'm on something that I need to be taken care of. The subject in my mind is something that I need to take care of in order to switch my brain over to let's be happy-go-lucky and play Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I, I really have to change my mind over to do that. When we've already got it set up that we're going to sit down and we're going to work on that nuclear sciences thing and then you want to talk about Magic the Gathering, I mean, it does make it difficult, especially when I, I don't care about your Shivon dragon currently. What I care about is figuring out how to separate the nucleus of an atom. <clears throat>